may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! Good morning, Kmart shoppers. Welcome back to the channel. Share, subscribe, like this video. Make sure you put your prayer requests in the bottom. Lots of news, lots of news, even for Sunday. A lot of stuff coming out right now. So we're going to try to dive into this and see everything that's going on because there's quite a bit. It says in Syria, movements of large shipments of medical supplies have been spotted. Supplies are being distributed to the medical service facilities there in Syria. So they're already gearing up for whatever that's about to happen. The Prime uh, Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is expected to hold a security assessment conference tonight regarding the expected reactions from Iran and Hezbollah. Let's see what else we got here. Rockets. Yeah, this happened late last night. It was 30 rockets in the upper Galilee overnight as Israel awaits the large scale. Let's see. Thank God for that Iron Dome system, boy. It's something else to watch it in work. It, it made those rockets look like nothing. Uh, Russia, we have a security corporation agreement with Iran. If America does something stupid in targeting Iran, so we will immediately give in a strong and in a invitable response to uh, defend our partners so once again like I said Russia Iran China North Korea they're all in bed together let's see a lot of this came off Keegan Keegan's always on overdrive Mr. Keegan if you don't have him on telegram you might want to add him on there he's something else he's always ahead of the curve Mr. Keegan is you look for Keegan Fernandez Everybody loves old Keegan. Thank God for him and this family and what he does for the Lord in these last days. Let's see. I'm just going through the motions. Let's see. I'm trying to see everything we can get on what's happening in the last night. It was pretty chaotic. If you don't know, stuff in England last night took a turn for the worst. It was, it was pretty bad. So God, make sure you keep them in your prayers. It says two American soldiers was killed in Iraq under the mysterious circumstances this morning. Uh, let's see. Keep their families in your prayers. A senior Biden administrator official told Parts of Netanyahu's ungrateful toward the U.S. noting that the past two uh, conversations between the PM and Biden have been difficult and tense. Yeah, anything dealing with the Democrat Party is probably like getting teeth pulled because it's like talking to five-year-olds. Just in Mount Ativa, the uh, volcano there in uh, Catatina International Airport in Italy. Now, that thing erupted this morning. It was something else to behold so we've got a <laughs> you name it it's happening idf designates radio stations for emergency broadcasts Israel's hospitals have been uh move uh part uh, patients closer to bomb shelters well that's good u.s engages in talks with china to dissolute iran yeah good luck with that Let's see, the IDF has designated specific, okay, we just did that, Israel's hospitals are taking proactive measures in response of escalating tensions, the U.S. is engaging in diplomatic talks with China, the, the Pentagon is currently working on to verify the readiness resources needed to defend the Middle East, Greece has heightened its highest alert to report the key Hezbollah military 
outposts and headquarters in southern suburbs of Beirut are reportedly undergoing a collapse. What that means. New France has decided to call on its citizens to Iran to have uh, a not travel country. Now, there's something that came out last night. It was very interesting. I wanted to run by you family members. Now, late last night, there was, we, we saw that there was a communique between France and Israel late last night. It happened probably after we did the, the video last night from the 48-hour warning God was giving us. But it was very interesting. I mean, I don't think I even got off the, you know, we got done doing it. It, it come on. And then, uh, then all this stuff started coming out. So remember, I had three times seeing somebody from French speaking people when God was showing me future events. And I'm like, why do I keep seeing somebody from France? I don't know anybody from France, but it's like when I had, when I was in the mall, all these malls that are different, different situations. There was always somebody there speaking French. So I thought, okay, what I, and I never put this together then, but I'm thinking it's, it's he was telling me that there's going to be a lot of things happen during the Olympics. Maybe that's what it was. But then last night when I saw this, it's very important. I hope you're all sitting down. Where, let me see if I can, I'm going to have to get that. Cause let me tell you something. It blew my mind when I'm trying to remember where I got that from. My goodness. It, it was something else to behold. I almost couldn't believe what I was reading. Okay. I think it's here. So let's go over this. Emergency silver defense plans of Israel, Iran strike the IDF communication system and targets across the country, Iran's forces in Lebanon. So here we go. Let's get into this. Emergency civil defense plans began to implement in Israel in anticipation of attack of Iran and Hezbollah. According to what is reported, the Israel territory citizens have received a series of warnings and uh, from the authorities. One of the uh, emergency measures concern is the prohibition of large gatherings, so no large gatherings in Israel, multiple victims from possible attack, the shelters, which are most everywhere are populated areas of Israel, have already been opened. The citizens have stated stocking up with generators as well, very likely Israel sit, uh, cities or without power for hours. So they're trying to get everything together. The IDF home front commands designate radio stations for emergency broadcast in the event of a major attack of, in Israel this weekend. Religious Israelis can leave their radios on. The stations will not broadcast any uh, programs except the incoming missile alerts. Russian and Iran accounts claim that Iran deployed the Russian BN electric warfare system in multiple locations across the country for fear of Israel's counterstrike. The system consists of a generator, uh, four 32 meter antennas, and so on, so on. Israel is preparing for a scenario involving an Iran missile attack significantly larger than the one in April. Now, according to Israel media, Israel Hayon, the ass assessment is the attack will include attempts to disable communication systems in Israel. Israel believes Iran's access plans to attack from all directions to invade to saturate the air defenses to confuse the, the Iron Dawn. Cruise missiles and drones can strike through Egyptian airspace and or the Mediterranean. Now, according to Western sources, Arab officials say that they have sent warnings on out to Iran on behalf of Israel. The U.S. Uh, at the U.S. that Israel is ready to go to war with Hezbollah, and Iran responds to aggressively. Iran's officials said they uh, understand the risk, but it is under inter, uh, internal pressure from hardliners to respond. The country's efforts to uh, Persuade Iran not to escalate has been fruitless. Israel's crossed all red lines, yada, yada, yada. As Israel told CBS News, Israel expects more aggressive retaliation. Iran not only military targets will be hit, Iran's forces on the border with Israel. Iran said today that Hezbollah is expected to hit Israel in death and not to be limited in military targets in response to the killing of, you know, the really bad guys. After the strike, we expect Hezbollah will select more targets and strike deeply into Israel. Now, the Lebanese organization will not limit its response to military targets, he added. The IRGC uh, Quad Force Telegram channel posted photos of special militia, people's forces of Islamic land, supporting them just meters away from Israel's border. 
It is taken for granted that the event of all-out war with Iran guards and other Shiite militias will support Hezbollah. Dramatic message from U.S. Britain, leave Lebanon now by any means necessary, so they're telling everybody to get out of there before it goes boom, boom. The most interesting thing that I caught last night, and most people probably wouldn't have seen it, but one of the things that Israel related through this French French message to Iran is that if you attack us, we're going to destroy Damascus. And I just, that made me, I'm like, oh, what did I just see? But it, that's one of the, the uh, things that they sent, that Damascus would be destroyed. And I went, oh my gosh, people were there. I got so excited. I was like, oh my goodness, there it is. There it is. And I don't know why they were threatened. About, I mean, I'm, I've told you that's a major hub for all the weapons come in, but I've never seen Israel you know, flat out say, okay, we're going to destroy Damascus. That's the first time I've ever seen it come across. And I couldn't believe my eyes. I had to go back and read it again. I'm like, is that what I just seen? And I'm like, that's, that's prophecy beyond prophecy. And so we're seeing all this stuff that I'm almost can't even believe sometimes that my eyes are seeing that all this stuff is taking place. And I'm trying to find that, and it's driving me crazy because I know I had that earlier about this. And so let me see if I can run through this and maybe find it. But there's just so much news coming out that it is hard to find. Let's see. Do, do, do. Hopefully I can find that again. It is so intriguing. It definitely perked my little ears up, and I know it will you all. And that's why I was like, man, I need to need to get this out to the masses. This morning. Let's see. Come on. Let me find it. Let me find it. Let me find it. I wish I knew where it was on. It's probably on Keegan's. I probably need to go through and find it because he is the man. So let's see. Half until Eve. Alright. Where is it at? Still can't believe I saw that. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Come on, where are we at? Now, I just thought it was also interesting that the uh, it was sent by French, by the French. France sent it out to Iran. I just thought that, I mean, because I kept seeing this French speaking teacher or, and just different people that was speaking Fr French in those dreams. And then it being some, it came from France to Iran about destroying Damascus. I just, I don't know. I'm going to tell you one thing. There's a lot of stuff happening. Now they've also come out and said now late last night, once again, after we got off the program, I was reading that they have, Iran is now saying they have a nuclear bomb and they're going to use it. Let's see. I hope I'm almost there. I suggest the attack can happen. Let's see. And I wish I could find that now. There's, that's how much news has come out from last night to this morning, by the way. I mean, it's just unbelievable how much news is coming out, and it's just everywhere. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. Not since I've been doing this. I know there ain't been nothing like what I'm seeing now. Man, I should have tracked this down beforehand, but, you know, I got kind of excited. Let's see. Maybe it wasn't on here. <laughs> I'm trying to remember exactly. Every, I know they said they was going to take out their oil wells and they destroy Damascus if the attack is too too uh, a really big attack inside of Israel, that they would level Damascus, destroy it. They take out the oil wells and everything in Iran. And there was a couple other things that they sent through France 
to Iran. And uh, like I said, it's a lot of stuff going on right now. So. I don't think I'm going to be able to find it. It's buried in there somewhere. So let's get into some more news. That's not even half of it. 30 rockets rain on Upper Galilee overnight as Israel waits large-scale Hezbollah and Iran assault. 30 rockets were launched at the area of uh, Kirat. During the night, the Israel Defense Forces stated Sunday morning as Israel continues to wait for a possible large-scale attack by Hezbollah in the Iran regime. Which I think the Lord's kind of gave us an opening on that when that might take place. It might guarantee it might be tomorrow. In the meantime, Hezbollah resumed sporadic attacks, sporadic attacks, learn how to speak here eventually, on northern Israel while the IDF has carried out several target strikes, seemingly aiming to improve its position to weaken Hezbollah ahead of the expected large attacks. The IDF in return attacked the launcher used to attack in the area and attacked another concrete threat in the area of a Daza with artillery. The day before the IDF has carried out strikes on Hezbollah infrastructure and operatives in several areas across southern Lebanon. So it's a little bit happening everywhere right now. Now I want to get into this, what happened there. And uh, they're saying it's a right-wing riot, which it's not. These were Muslims. And uh, they're saying right-wing demonstrators turned violent across the UK, which they wasn't right-wing. It's the same thing here, that the, the left can do whatever they want, but they blame it on, uh, on the right. And it's the same thing over there. The evil is just, it's all over the place. Mur they murdered three children and a teenager, but see, they put that on the conservatives. That's what they do. Violence broke out in more than 30 protests held in cities, including Liverpool, Leeds, Belfast, Stroke, and Trent, Blackpool, and Hull. The demonstrations came almost a week after riots in the town, a South Port. But see, what they're not telling you is all these was Muslims that killed these kids. With more than 100 people arrested in London on Wednesday with a police station set on fire in Sunderland. And what they did, they just literally changed the whole uh, propaganda of it and changed it to the people they didn't like. Since protest riders on Saturday shouted out uh, anti-immigration and anti-Islam, but the people who killed the people was Muslim. So, once again... You can't make this stuff up. Evil is just everywhere. You can't make it up. It's almost like what happened here in 2020. You know, they could come in and burn down a whole city and you couldn't say anything. It just drives me crazy. That's why I'm glad we're gone. Let them burn the whole world down. They can have it. U.S. and Israel bracing for a media Iran attack. Tehran is likely launch a series of strikes on the U.S. state. The U.S. and Israel are continuing preparations for a major attack by Iran in retaliation for the assassination of Hamas and Hezbollah leaders, uh, you know, the two baby killers. According to two unnamed U.S. officials, the head of the U.S. Central Command has arrived in the region for a pre-planned visit that is likely to focus on efforts to mobilize the same broad international regional coalition and defended Israel from a previous major attack. Now, like I said, Iran has divulged in the last 24 hours that now they do have nuclear weapons and they're hypersonic. Israel has said that if they use anything like this and they strike deep into Israel, they're going to destroy Damascus. You can't make this stuff up at this point. We're almost, we're almost home. It's all coming out of Scripture now. Those who don't believe in the Word of God is proving them wrong daily and daily and daily. Because scripture is coming to life like we've never seen. That's just what's making people nervous and what makes people mad. They don't want this to happen. They want to stay here. But they're realizing now, more and more, our time is up. I've seen watchmen and watchwomen just in the last 24 hours all across all networks saying the same thing. Time is up. Everybody knows it. Just Paul, Paul said we'd know. He said, you'll know the season. You'll no need to write me. You'll know. We know. People's like, oh, yeah, they all said that. For yeah, and that's also prophecy, too. That's what Jesus said you would say right in the last days. The writing's on the wall. 
one of somebody is going to start using nuclear weapons. They already been bragging about it now for a year, and eventually it's going to happen. But it can't happen while the restrainer's in place. So God's going to remove that, and they're not going to kill each other. That is what's going to happen. Too many of us have seen it. That's why he's warning us about what these people are going to do. Now, we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, but we'll wait and see. But whatever it is leads us to the rapture. That's all I care about. These people that want this world, they can have it as it turns to ash. Doesn't bother me at all. I'm going home to a much better place to where I don't have to deal with these people and the garbage and people killing everybody and everything else. I don't have to deal with it anymore. And sorry, but I'm going home. And those that are saved will not have to deal with this garbage anymore. These people that are here to always try to laugh at God, mock at him, well, they're going to see the fruits of their labors very, very soon. Trust the gospel. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, Jesus died on the cross for our sins, past, present, future. He died and was buried, rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. Don't take our word for it that this is the last days. Go to Jesus. Ask him. He'll confirm it for you. He's been doing it with thousands. The question is, do you truly want to know? Or do you want to hold on to this world? And it's politicians that promise you that they're going to save the world just like they've been for the last hundred years, and they do squat. But like I said, man wants man to rule. They're going to get that. It'll be the Antichrist. And he's going to destroy the planet. That's what's going to happen. That's what you get when you want a man to give you peace. That's what it comes. No man can fix this. Only Jesus can. And he's coming to get the church. And he's going to deal with all the rest of these people that have rejected him, didn't want anything to do with him, and they chose man over God. That's what's about to happen. Rapture the church first, and then everything else. The tribulation. Jacob's trouble is... Closer today than it's ever been. When we start talking about Israel threatening to destroy Damascus, people, you better get on that boat. That's all I can tell you. Because these people on these channels can keep telling you, well, it's going to be 25, 26. The news says different. As I said, some of these people, they have, they do not listen to the Holy Spirit whatsoever. It's their own understanding or they don't even do it. And that's the problem today. we got a lot of people who just, they think they're too smart for God. That's the problem. And we see that in a lot of people's videos. He's the one in control. It's not us. It's not our understanding. The Holy Spirit is warning people, warning them. They ain't listening. Just like the rest of the world that ain't of God. They're not listening. Watch the news. This is not hard. You can see what's happening. It's not going to happen exactly the way we see it. That's why I said, don't trust man. Don't trust me. You trust Jesus. Ask him what's happening. That's how we know. We go to Jesus. I go to the Lord. These people won't do that. They don't believe in that. It's their understanding. And they're completely not even close to where we are. Trust Jesus and Jesus alone, not man. The Pharisees thought they was really smart, too, in the days, and they missed Jesus, and he was standing right in front of them. That's happening again today. People think they're smarter than Jesus, unfortunately. I'm done. <laughs> I'm going to be the first one to tell you. I can learn something new every day. But we got a lot of people these days that think they're smarter than Jesus, and they're going to tell him when he's going to come. That's not how this works. He's in control, not us. We're on his time. He's not on ours. Trust in Jesus, Jesus alone. Go to Jesus, not man. I'm telling you, man makes mistakes. We all do. He does not. He's the one going out, giving the warning signs, telling you to watch Israel, what's coming. That's who you listen to, okay? You listen to him, put him first, you can't ever go wrong because he'll never leave you and he'll never forsake you. And he's built a place for you and he's coming back to get you very, very soon. Okay? So trust in him. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for another day, Father. Thank you for bringing us news. Thank you for showing us the truth of your coming and that you're coming back soon. We thank you for it, Lord. Protect this family and the watchmen and watchwomen that are teaching everyone around the world that Jesus comes soon. Protect them and their families with a shield in Jesus' name. 
Watch over the Jewish people, Lord. We see Jacob's trouble and uh, literally is inches away. Lord, be with them through these dark times that are coming. In Jesus' name, it will be done. Lord Jesus, watch over all the ones there in Florida and on the eastern panhandle come tomorrow. The families for all this water and rain, tornadoes, whatever this thing may bring, be with those families and protect them in Jesus' name. Lord Jesus, be with the British people as the cities was, was literally almost burnt to the ground last night. So protect the people in Jesus' name it will be done. Lord Jesus, watch over all of us. Give us strength, wisdom, knowledge with the poor, the hungry, the the homeless. Get us all to the point. Give us the strength to make it to the rapture because we know it's right there. And we can go home soon in Jesus' name. Pray for the ones who come against these channels, Lord, that you wake them up before it's too late in Jesus' name. Also, I pray for the ones, Lord, each and every name that the loved ones leave here each and every day. That they'll be saved before it's too late. In Jesus' name I pray. And amen. You all be good out there. Have a great Sunday. We'll be back tonight with some more updates. We're monitoring everything that's going on with Israel. It's all going over to the United States. You name it, we're watching it. That's what we do. I'm a watchman. But like I said, trust Jesus. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Do not take your eyes off because right now I do believe it's the most important time in human history. You're living in it. And very soon, maybe within the next couple of hours, we might be going home. Never know. I do believe it can be any time. I don't know when the day is, but I know we're in the season. When they start talking about Damascus being destroyed, wow, we're that close. I'm excited. You better get excited too, because I'm going home and you're coming with me. Those that are saved, you're ready to go home and we're going to be there soon. Can I get an amen? I love each and every one of you. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven. Thank you once again for tuning in to Global Rapture Watchers, where we do daily updates here on YouTube letting you know that we're one day closer to our Lord and Savior coming back. Thank you for all the support for this channel. This channel was created for God's sheep. Those that are waiting for their Lord and Savior to come back and get us in these last days. We do updates once to two times a day here on YouTube. Thank you for all your support for the channel. God bless each and every one of you.